know my name well, I've got a rattlesnake fit up Running through my veins The way you see me coming You better step aside I'm coming on like thunder Lightning in my stride You'll never see my life again oh, I'm a real bad
All righty, fans, here he comes, Adrian Alexander. And I'll tell you one thing, G-Man, <laughs> the champ never has a loss of words, does he? You know, the crowd just really loves the champ when he comes out, JR. And the fans really, really into Adrian Alexander. This should be an interesting match. The champion, of course, with Mr. Higgins in his corner. Referee proudly displaying the title. Pasadena crowd here, West Perry Elementary School. Appalachia Mountain Wrestling, J.R. Everidge and the G-Man himself bringing you the action. You know, this Adrian Alexander is a great athlete, J.R. I'm wondering how he's going to stand up against the champ, though. Yes, he is a great athlete, well-traveled. And there's always Mr. Higgins in the corner. That's exactly right. You have to watch out for that because he's, uh, he's not ashamed to go to that corner and use him. Uh, Adrian getting a lot of response from the crowd here. The champ, he's not liking that. He's uh, very negative. You can see that uh, he's still ranting and carrying on here. Well, he just wants someone to make him a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> make me a sandwich. That's what he says. That's the question to be answered right here tonight. What an exciting, exciting crowd here. They are into this thing. Uh, you've got Adrian Alexander that has been uh, talking about this match for a while here, just getting himself pumped up, getting himself ready, and you got the champ with Mr. Higgins here. Now he's brought him out uh, back into the ring, so let's see what happens. The referee calling for the bell. Adrian better get on the champ. Don't give him no time, Joe. Time's against Adrian in this match. The champ sizing his man up. He's saying, hey, wait just a minute. Alexander's wanting more from the crowd here. And that support's definitely there. Oh, he's definitely got the crowd behind him. There's no question. That's, the champ has found something wrong with Adrian, apparently, grappling to the referee. Yeah, he's saying, hey, what's up here? I'm sure the referee's uh, top notch on this thing right here. He's... He's right over these guys. He's going to have his hands full tonight with the champ. Champ stalling for time, stepping outside. This is his technique, though. This is how he works. And uh, he knows what he's doing. He's very, very consciously aware of, of what he has to do here, what he, feel, what, what he feels like he has to do against uh, Alexander. Well, he's been the constant AMW champion for two years on now. Yes, holding that title and, and uh, being so well-traveled as he is, he knows. He's just barring time right now, trying to stay out of this match. Yeah, looking for an opening, yeah. Yeah, you can see this. He's uh, just looking for some type of opening. Okay, one enters, one exits. Allie. Little size difference, but they tie up, and, mm, well, made a little difference. But Alexander, hey, he's got to back and down. He's back up and right at his opponent. He's going right at the champion. And that's what it's going to take if he wants to win this match. Okay, the champion comes in. Came in prematurely there, hit that turnbuckle from that trip. And it's going to be Alexander now with a drop kick. Send the champ down and out of the ring. Champ with a slow start. He's got to regather himself. Alexander's a little bit on fire right now. Perhaps underestimating. Alexander inside of the ring saying, come on, man, he is hyped up. He is ready for this. The champ just taking his time. He don't want to rush into anything. He's smarter than that. He's not going to get in. Oh, caught him. Straddle that rope there in a place he don't want to be. Looks to me like somebody's getting ready to go for a ride. As Alexander is going to take this opportunity. And the old <laughs> caught him there in the straddles. 
with that rope. I thought I heard the champ's voice get a little bit higher there for a Yeah, second. a little higher pitch there for sure. Here he comes and watch out and pulls that rope now. In this in this case, the momentum pulled him over the rope. So he did that on his own, but watch out. It's going to be Alexander making quite of a show for himself here. He's uh, he's really impressed me, he's going but watch out. That that's, that's the chance right there he was looking for, though, the champ. He was just waiting, waiting. Those vicious forearms right across the back and neck. The champ on top of his band now. Alexander in trouble in that corner, G. Alexander's in a bad way right now. The champ will keep him there as long as he possibly can. Check this out by the hair out of the corner. Alexander slow to get up. Oh, nice shot by Alexander. Beautiful, beautiful. A couple more. Looked like a fist to the side of the face there. Fire champ. to fire. The champ in trouble. Adrian Alexander taking charge of the match comes in. My goodness. My goodness. He caught the champ there. Takes his man in the rope, but a reversal. He ducks the clothesline, but the champ catches him coming back through. Man, he just caught him in midair here. Let's see what happens. He's got him up. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. That took his toll on Alexander's wow. back. That's going to slow him down a little bit. Yes, no doubt about that. There you see, man, the instant replay on that. Absolutely, incredibly, incredibly devastating. Catches his man now with that closed fist to the head. Alexander in some trouble, G. Yeah, and he's taking to the ring and take some breath out of him. And putting some good leverage on him. Referee says, let him out of those ropes with the champ. <laughs> Man, he is just really annihilating Alexander now. Whips his band across the corner. We heard that one all across the Coliseum. Yes. Big clothesline from the champ. Wow. Alexander's got to get back on his feet. Champ. Oh, one for the pin. Look at this. No, sir, a two count. A two count. Champ is asking for a faster count to the referee. He wants this match over. Well, you got to think about it this way. He's going to use everything that he can here to keep his man down, work on him, and try to get a, a early pinfall as he can. But the referee is going to be in here uh, checking, make sure those shoulders are down all the way for the three count. Alexander, a two and a half, don't cut it. You've got to be a three count. You got to have that three count. You got to be a three count, and that's what it's all about. So Alexander, fire, firing back. He found some shrimp from somewhere. Look out! Beautiful, beautiful. Over the top. You got to get the champ. He knows where he's at, Jr. All the time. You, you just you can't get away from him. Notice he goes back. Fires in that stomp to the back, to the lower back, picks his man up, body slam. He's just trying to keep the breath out of him, I think, at this time. Plus, Alexander's a high flyer. He wants him, that breath out of him. That's exactly, that yeah. big boot to the throat. Yeah. He is just working him over right now. Does the champ feel that the victory's coming? Alexander seems to be struggling to get to those ropes now. He's, he's lost a lot of momentum. When the champ brings those big clubbing arms to his back, you feel that. What's he going for, JR? Oh. Shot to the side of the face. The referee says open fist. Look close from here. Huh? That was close, no doubt. And he tosses him right out of the ring. Now, what right about that? Door. What kind of sportsmanship is this? Throws his man through the ropes, out onto the floor, and Alexander is just, man, he is just weak on his feet. He's I'm telling you right something. Now. He is dazed and the champ. The eyes. Going outside now to further take advantage. Alexander with some wild swings. I'm afraid this is a, um, this oh, is a grim steel, situation. Really. Oh, yeah, to that rail. Grim situation, and the champ just, <laughs> man, he's ruthless. Well, the clock is on his side, Joe. He wants him out there. That's exactly. Yeah, and again, 
I wonder if that was open fist. Picks his man up. What's he going to do now? He's on the outside of the ring. Not the steal, folks. Please. Look out. Look out. He's the champ. His shot. The champ. Oh, my goodness. Alexander managed to reverse that and throw the champ into the post. But notice the champ was smart enough to get back in the ring. Where's Alexander at right now? Yes. He needs to be in that ring. Yes. He has found a second win for, oh, for a chance, but no, sir, to no avail. And again, the champ's still on his feet. Drop kick that sends his man down. Alexander better stay on him. Is he going up? Here we go. Into the corner. Up on top. Big comes frog down. Splash. Beautiful. One, two. I don't think that's going to do it, though. It'll take a lot more than that. Yeah. A two count. Alexander disappointed, but it was uh, bluntly a two count there. I mean, the champ is going to take more than that. Alexander, he is on a warpath. Look right here. Hooks his man into that side headlock. Bulldogs him into the mat. One, two, and two and a half. But no, the champ. The champ finding the way to get those shoulders up. Stan Sierra, he's a veteran, and he knows that time Time is a factor. Misses that one. Comes across. Caught him. Into the corner. Now's his time to move on him. Big frog splash. Beautiful. Beautiful. He caught him. Now let's see what happens here, G. He's got his man right where he wants him. Crowd counting off the punches to the, the champ. Yeah. Uh, perhaps at this time he should be concentrating on getting his man back down on his back. But uh, watch out. He's up. And wow, what a drop. That was a drop. What a – there's no – get. I'm afraid not. Two, three, and the referee calls for the bell. And Stan Sierra successfully defends that heavyweight championship. Don't tell me Mr. Higgins is going to be well, coming into play. This thing, you know, Alexander doing the right thing by rolling out of the ring. Smart move. Yeah, he don't want to be in there, especially with Mr. Higgins. Uh, look at this. Look what a drop. Just Man, right two, out, like three, Andrew. and the referee was right there, right over top of the action, doing a great officiating job, and the champ comes out victorious again. Stan Sierra with the title. But we have to say, uh, Alexander... He, he gave a great showing. Uh, he, he impressed me. He just didn't have on this occasion what it took to take on and beat the champ. Wrestling fans, welcome to Appalachia Mountain Wrestling. J.R. Everidge and the G-Man himself. G-Man, we're going to be seeing Murphy Costigan, who has battled all over the states against Mr. Bo James right here today. You better refer to him as Lord. Lord Murphy Costigan. Yes. What a matchup right here in front of this spectacle crowd right here. We have got the greatest fans and love this crew we've had in a long time. Yes, place. we have. Yes, we have. Not an empty seat in the house today. Murphy inside the ring now. And the fans, I'll tell you something. This man right here will go to any extreme to fight Bo James. Not wrestle, but fight with Bo James. He is after some blood, I'll tell you. There's a true hatred in this match, JR. Definitely. They have no love for each other at all. Definitely so. The fans anxiously awaiting Mr. Bo James. And I'll tell you, this is going to be a barn burner, I'm sure. Can the king of king sports? Put it into this tonight. That is the question, JR. That's the question. Yes. We hopefully, we'll get an answer. And I'll tell you, I am one of them that, well, I can't lie. I want Bo James to come out here and be on his best against this menace. Well, we all do. Is it yes. going to happen? That's the question. Yes. Because we both know that the Lord tossed him. Take a shortcut here and there. Been known to do that several occasions, several times. 
But as we said, these two have battled all over the South. They have battled everywhere. We have saw them several times. For this match to be right here with AMW tonight, this is a plus. This is a main event in any arena, anywhere. Any tough place, any time, main event right here. Yes, it is. Mr. Bo James, uh, everybody knows Bo James. I mean, he's a fighter, he's a wrestler, well-traveled. Man, let me tell you, this guy has been around. He is a true veteran of the sport. Look at his eyes on, on him right now with the full wheel. So intense, so intense, G-Man. As I said, pure hatred right there in that bull. He has that bull, bull whip with him, and uh, let me tell you, he's, he's not afraid to use that thing. Oh, no, we've saw that yeah. before. Yeah, he's used it on many occasions. Climbing up to the ring now, Bo James. Wow, what a matchup right here. Supercard Series, AMW. Fans, i tell you something, you got to get out and see Appalachia Mountain Wrestling at its finest. He does not want no part of this bullwhip. He's afraid he's going to get it right now. Maybe Tim Lash or so. And introductions. Well, I think uh, Costigan's wanting a little more from the crowd there. Well, he's not going to get it from this crowd. They're strictly Bo James. Strictly Bo, yeah. Bo James, as I said, looking intently. And, oh, oh with that whip slinging it around, man, he has fury in his eyes. Fury. If he can connect with that whip, he's got a long night ahead. And here we go. Bo James taking off the jacket. Referee checking the competitors here, making sure that uh, there's no foreign objects on them, on their persons. Checking the boots. Sure there's nothing going on here. Murphy asking the referee to get Bo back already. He's uh, hey, get him out of here. He's not removed the skirt yet. True, true. I'm sorry, kilt. Kilt, yes, kilt, kilt. Murphy's, you know, sitting there killing time. Well, gear off. and in all fairness, I can understand uh, Murphy taking pride in his heritage and this, that, and whatnot, but still, the way that he chooses to compete and to do things, I mean, Bo James, he's not going to tolerate that. Well, let's not forget that arrogant attitude. Oh, yeah. Finally, he's ready to go. Bo James with some last minute words here. He's telling the man, you want to fight, we'll fight. That's, that's what it's going to be. Probably just a good old street fight. What a matchup right here. It's going to be Bo James starting out early with that arm and the arm drag and twist. And Murphy already called up here. The referee trying to come between them, but Murphy takes the shortcut out, G-Man. I think he feels the heat coming at him tonight. He knows he's in for a long evening. On the outside of the ring. Trying to get a reaction from the fans as usual. Trying to make them feel sorry for him. And play the stalling game. That's all he's trying to do is play that stall. Bo James back so he can get in and make a great appearance back in. Yes. You know, Bo James has had se held several titles, including that Southeast title. Let's have that Southeast title for a long time. Here we go. It's going to be James, and he's looking at his opponent up and down. Ties up. But it's going to be Murphy stepping inside with that arm. Now let's see how he works Bo James here. He's really prying the pressure right now for Bo James. <laughs> Bo James reaches out and reverses that just like it's nothing. I mean, Bo James, he's such a wrestler. This guy can go scientific or brawl with you. And look right here. Mm-hmm. He is caught in a pinch now by the hand. Oh, a good old finger stop. He gave it to him, Bo James. I'm not giving you any slack, pal. Look at this. Ties that arm up right next to his rib cage. Goes in, bending that arm back now, and it's going to be Murphy struggling, trying to put some pressure here, trying to get that pressure off, but uh, <laughs> Bo James just bearing down here. Referee asking for that submission, but he's not going to get it. Murphy is, uh, he's resilient. He's a tough guy. 
Let's just be honest, Bob James is going to break his arm. That's exactly. He's got him. He takes his man back by the hair into the corner. Fires in, but no, sir. He's blocked by James and another one. And look right here. Bo James has opened up on Murphy Costigan, and he goes to the outside. You're not going to go fist the cuff with Bo James. You're He's not going to do that, way. I can tell you. You know, he does have the height advantage, uh, Murphy does, over top of Bo James. But let me tell you, Bo James can get you in so many other different ways. He can go for that low body. Uh, just a superb wrestler, superb athlete. As far as the spirits, you've got to go with James. You have to. But you've got Costigan out here. He's trying to make this day. He's trying to build himself up. He's trying to step over Reigns, if you would. No pun intended there. But he's really, really testing the waters here with Bo James all over the south. These two have battled and battled, and we've got them here tonight. What a matchup. And before this night's over, I think we'll have another battle. Oh, yes. Look right here. It's going to be Bo James. Look at that. Boy, he went for the one arm and grabbed the other. Bo James is trying to break his arm, I believe. Look at this. It may come out of socket here in a second. I mean, he has just worked this thing over. He's twisted it in ways that, that uh, the anatomy's not made to be twisted. But right now, he's got James back in that corner. Oh, to the midsection. And James, oh, that took the breath out of him, but he blocked him again and comes back with another firing right hand. That's going to be Koskins down on the mat, heading for the outside, G-Man, again for the outside of the ring. I think he's getting more than he bargained for tonight. I think so. Bo James, let me tell you, this man, and in his travels, he has wrestled through all the, the <laughs> stars of every wrestling organization out there, and he's fell to none. He's fell to none. I have to say that. He's had multiple titles and multiple promotions. Yes, he has. It's going to be Murphy climbing back up on that ring apron. The referee trying to keep Bo at bay here, if you would. Bo James looking at his opponent with such fury. Again, I'm telling you something. These two, <laughs> there's no love lost between them, none. I can tell you. No love losses at all here. Bo James comes in, grabs the arm for the windup. He's still wanting to break his arm. I see that in this man. He is just so fired up. And he uh, he's going to find that weak spot here. And he may even get a submission. I, I'm going to tell you. Steps through the ropes outside. Oh, Shot to the eye, sends James over to the opposite corner. Forearm, uh, that was a that was a legal forearm. That's the first. And an elbow, yes. <laughs> Bo James in trouble now. On the mat, head first into that turnbuckle. Murphy taking charge. Point of the elbow there to the chest. He's through a cover. That's not going to get it done. I got news for you. Bo James with a lot of life left in him. Take a lot more than that. You better know it has to. James is going to take this opportunity right now to maybe catch his breath here and uh, regroup. But Murphy is trying to pull that neck back in a way that it's not supposed to go. Look at this. Pull a lot of pressure right there, G-Man. You know, so James is not giving up. Griffey's no, sir. Asking. No, sir. Referee said, nope, nope, nope. Murphy just wishfully thinking right now. Bo James making his way back up. He's going to come back up. Murphy wants that submission, but he's not going to get it tonight. Bo James on the mat here. This is an oddity of the match. I'll tell you that. It's, it's not happened often, but it is right now. And look at here with that knee and pushing him right across that rope. Bo James is uh, hes hurt, but I don't think he's out of the game. Never count him out of the game. Murphy's going to have to stay on if he's got a shot at it. These two have been brutal with each other. Look at this. He just drove that forearm right across the whole face. And now, if you would, he's using big axe handles to go across Bo James, trying to get the breath knocked out of him, I guess. But nevertheless, Bo James 
He's still on his feet. If you recall, Joe, he said he was taking him out tonight. This was his last match. Bo James being pounded upon. Murphy's got the match going his way at this point. But Bo James comes back. He came back with that foot to the midsection from behind. And now Bo James, is he has had it. He has had it. He's got him by the beard. Look at this. Big right fist. Knocks his man off his feet. And again, and Bo James... Sends his man head first into the turnbuckle. Look at the intensity on Bo Jones' face. Yeah. Oh, popped him right in the eye there. Man, he just caught him with that closed fist. Knocked his man right out of the ring. Couldn't have to find a person. <laughs> Look at Bo James. He's going after his man, but he's caught. Watch out. It's going to be Murphy. Caught him with that low blow there. And now... Bo James retaliates with that kick. Both men out of the ring. The referee's towing the count. The referee towing the count. These guys are fighting all over the auditorium here. They're on the Look verge at of this. a count out right now. They are on the verge of a count out. The referee's still towing the count. He's at seven. Look right here. It's going to be James. Wow. Did you see that? Well, I felt that one. With this match. Wow. Even to the back. And there they go. And I think, yeah, the referee calling for the bell here. He is calling for the bell. It's been a double count out. Bo James, of course, coming back inside the ring. Hey, Bo says, come on, bring him back out. I'll battle all night with him. I knew these two was going to get out of hand tonight, G-Man. And that's exactly what happened. It all boils down to hatred for one another. Absolutely. As we said several times, they've battled here, they've battled there, all over the South. And Bo James, he's still not satisfied with how this match ended. I can tell you that. Oh, he wants it back right now. Yeah, you can see the disappointment here in Bo James' eyes. But I want to tell you something. Maybe some other type of stipulation, a, a match of a, a different sort, you know. Hey, we can see this again. Absolutely. Well, okay. Wait just a minute. Well, the game changers come into play. Yes. Look right here. Well, Murphy don't want any part of that. He's going to take off because Bo James will use the whip very effectively. Very effectively. It looks like he's still going after him with it. Well, these he's two. I'm telling you something. What a match up right here. I knew it would be brutal. I knew that tonight we would see <laughs> some, some action in that match. It wasn't a disappointment at all tonight. Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, man. Oh, look right here. He's come back. Uh, evidently, he ran Murphy down and caught him with that whip, and he's still going after him. Murphy heading back. Uh, oh, James coming back out again with a punch. These two, I'm telling you something. <laughs> some type of match, some type of stipulation, maybe. I don't know, maybe a lumberjack match or something. I, I'm, I'm not sure what it's going to take, but these two, they are at each other's strokes. What a battle. What a battle. Great battle. Hopefully that, we'll see a continuation soon. Absolutely. The old saying goes, you can run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> Kyle Maggard. Does this, uh, does this look familiar to you? It should. Does it remind you of your own backyard? Because it should. See, May 13th, Appalachian Wrestling. I'm coming to your very own backyard. And what better way to prove a point? What better way to continue our saga than to beat you in front of your own people? See, I'm not stupid. No, 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 I'm not stupid. I'm bringing a friend with me. See, Chance Prophet will be in my corner, at my side. So, here's an idea. If you can find anybody, anybody, dumb enough in that stick town of yours to actually stand in your corner, they don't even have to tag in, just to stand in your corner and watch you get beat on. By all means, please. Make it a tag match. Make it a tag match. Because I'll have somebody watching my back. 
Just make sure you don't have somebody there who will stab you in yours. There he is. The Mega Destroyer from Parts of Home, Wade Hunt on and G-Man. He is taking on a different type of competitor tonight in Mikey Motors. Yes, he's making his AMW debut tonight. Yes, indeed. Mega Destroyer has also held the Southeastern title for a while now. Yes, he has. He's been a champ for a while. And uh, the fans, well, they don't have a lot of respect for him. I'm going to give him that. They, they just don't... Uh, they don't like his tactics, but he's here, and he's going to be uh, defending that title. So Mikey Motors has a chance to make quite a uh, debut for himself here. I just hope the referee checks and make it a storage mask before they start this match. Oh, absolutely. We all know what's happened there a couple times. Yes, yes, yes. He's all – he's – Harbor, uh, hardware store in his trunks yes. as, far as, as far as I've seen. I mean, he has really uh, brought illegal tactics into the ring on more than one occasion. It's like so a Home Depot there. You can shop for whatever you want. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wearing the colors, too. Sure. But, the, <laughs> but the Mega Destroyer, uh, man, he's a brute of a competitor. Let he me tell you. He's a brute of a competitor. And here he is. It's Mikey Motors. He looks to be a pretty good-sized guy. Wrestling 101 on his back here on the jacket. Really like that. Uh, you know, I've heard some good things about him uh, coming down the line and stuff. It's going to be interesting to see. These two are pretty well matched up height-wise, aren't they? Height-wise, they're very matched up. Mega Story may have just a few extra pounds on him. Could be. But we'll never know that because we can't ever find anything out on him. That's true, yeah. Very secretive wrestler. I'll tell you, he's very private. Very private. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's sporting He's sporting those gloves and those armbands. And he's saying that uh, I have nothing in here. I have nothing in my mask. And the destroyer says, hey, I want to I wanna do this thing fairly. Now, do you believe this? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I don't believe it either. If I actually gave Mike what I wanted to say, we couldn't put it on TV. Truth. Mikey. Good size individual. Yeah, he's. Yeah, look at this. He's uh, telling the referee, okay, if he wants to step outside, we'll step outside. Now the destroyer. He's going to have to have hmm. this match with the Mega Destroyer. Okay, the destroyer says, let's get this thing going. And, well, he's complaining now about the noise from the fans. And I just don't think, you're not going to set these fans down here. No, you won't set our fans down. These fans are excited. Oh, a big tail to the keister. There you go. There you go. Mikey Motor says, here, let me prompt you just a little bit. You know, I think this is the most I've ever heard Megan Destroyer talk. I believe it is. I believe it is. He's not shut up. And perhaps he's intimidated right now. He could be. Mikey's not backing down from him. He's talking it right back with him. Okay, the Destroyer having Megan Destroyer. You can't really see his facial expressions. He's got that advantage over his opponent. And I think a lot of times that comes into play. Tie up center of the ring. On the bicycle, back into the corner, and here we go. Mikey, referee, towing the count. He gave him a break there. Gave him a little friendly pat there, G-Man. That's where he made his mistake. He should have done what Mega the Story would have done if he'd been in that situation. Which uh, meant that he would have nailed him. He would have nailed him. Close for his two. Yeah. Well, Mikey's trying to get a hold of him, but he, was back, he backs off on him. Interesting. Mega Destroyer. Look at this. Look at this. Going to the outside here, telling the fans to be quiet. That's usually when he's uh, perpetrating all of his meanness here, you know. Yes. He's uh, looking for something in his trunks or something to do to cheat. Here we go. Full arm dragon twist. Got his man in the center of the ring. Trying to keep him in the center. Away from the rope so he can continue to work on that arm. Mega Destroyer in trouble, G-Man. Oh, he's asking to give him a break and let go. What about that? Oh, flip up and over. 
Megan Destroyer, that has to hurt. He's putting some type of pressure on there. Oh, a big club of forearms that shoulder. You know he felt that. Insult to injury. Yeah. Pain and pain. Pain and pain collide. Look out again. He needs to keep him on the mat for sure. Yes, he does. And look at this. Simply done, goes to the rope with the foot. The referee's having to call for the break, and I see Mikey's in no hurry to break that hole. Did you blame him? No, sir. Mega Destroyer. Boy, I'll tell you what a name Mikey could uh, make for himself right here with the, with the defeat here. What a debut that would be. And we never know. Look at this. Look at Mike. He's... Up and down, up and down. Mega Destroyer, he has no choice but to go up and down as he goes. What's he doing now? Smacked his hand right off of him. Come out of the hold and did it. Now he said, here, I'll teach you. You want to do me. Look at this. Make it a fool if you would. <laughs> he, Mega Destroyer says, okay, here. And he just waylaid him with that big right fist. Gee, man, he has knocked the Mega Destroyer off his feet. Oh, the fans love it. They are going crazy tonight. Look at this, Mega Destroyer. Mikey Motors already come in here and got the backing of the fans. Well, I'll tell you something. The fans love him. I mean, <laughs> rather entertaining, if you would. Man, he's got that fist balled up. And he is ready for some action. Destroyer, ooh. Destroyer lured him into that corner. Did you notice that? So he can get that low blow in with that foot. That's tick will make a destroyer. Snap mirror out of the corner. Knee to the back. And now the mega destroyer sets in with that punishment. Now here we're talking about the veteran. This is he the veteran. What to do. You're exactly right. This is where the tide turns. And the mega destroyer will try to capitalize on the match. Look right here. Got his man draped over that rope. Referee told for the count. You know, that's a dangerous thing right there. That cable inside of that rope does not give. When you've got your neck pressed against that, you have got pressure. Look right here. Going from behind. Got the man in the center of the ring again. Mega Destroyer using all holds to try to weaken his opponent down right here. Keep him out of the ropes, but he made it to the side. The referee called him for the break. He's not going to get a break that easy. Mega Destroyer is going to take full advantage of this. Absolutely. Mega Destroyer now. Look out. Oh, shot to the rib cage. Man, he drawed back hard there and just waylaid it in there. And look out. Mikey and again. Mega Destroyer going to work. Oh, watch oh, out. Boy, man. That haymaker would have called him. He'd have been out. Look out. We could have got that lucky. Oh. Mega Destroyer. That chin lock. Man, he is really putting the pressure on him here. He is trying to get that lower back in his neck. That's exactly right. That's exactly what he's going for, G-Man. With your trained eye, you've noticed this thing. And you've also noticed throughout the match, I'm sure, how Mega Destroyer is trying to keep his man in the center of the ring instead of yes. by the ropes so he can continue his punishment. But look out. Watch out. Miss that elbow. Double clothesline. Double clothesline. And both being down on the bat, the referee going over. Check it. He's got to get up. Yeah. Man, he is, I'll tell you, he hit hard there. Could this be a double count out? Mega Destroyer. Mega Destroyer, is he up? Climbing up slowly. Mikey finds his way. Referee towing that count. Both men. This match is taking a toll on both of them, though. You can tell. Mikey Motors has made a good debut thus far. I'm impressed with Bikey Motors, I have to say. Catches his man. Oh, look at this. Destroyer again being caught by those right hands. Look out. Drops his man. Destroyer on the rebound. Wow. 
Mikey Motors has really come alive, G-Man. He has come to life. Let's hope he keeps it this way. What are we looking at here? The Mega Destroyer in trouble. The big windup sends his band back into that rope. The Irish whip back off. And he's going for the sleeper, G-Man. That's something you don't see very often anymore. You do not see that sleeper hole being applied as frequently as it used to be, but he drops down with that chin breaker, and look out now. What's it's he doing, JR? There goes the boot. Okay, there you go. G-Man, just as plain as a nose on my face, you seen him go inside of that boot, and he's pulled out a foreign object. Watch out, Mikey. No, don't go for it. Oh, watch out. And he got him right on the inside. One, two, and three, and the Mega Destroyer comes up with another victory by using the hardware that he packs to the ring. That's all I can say. What about that? Mega Destroyer coming out with a cheater's victory. That's all That's I'm going to call it. That's all we can call it. Look at this. What a show of Mikey. I'll tell you something. He's really impressed me. We've not seen the last of this guy. I hope we haven't. We haven't seen the last of this guy. Mega Destroyer making his way back to the dressing room in a hurry. He don't want to be checked. Yeah, he had see that? that? That's Mega Destroyer for you. Appalachia Belt dress like the GBN and JR bringing you the action. Okay, back with the action. And look right here. What one massive individual. We're talking, of course, about the mass monster misery. He's six foot 11. 300. How many pounds? Uh, too many for me to count. Wow, this guy is massive. He's practically indestructible. He's coming out here tonight. And look at this. Stepping right over top of that top rope, just like it's nothing to enter the ring. But. Tonight, he's going to be facing one of the all-time fan favorites right here at Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. And you know who we're talking about. Big Cousin Frank. Big Cousin Frank. It is gravy and biscuits. That's exactly right. This guy, let me tell you. And when you mention Big Cousin Frank, the fans go wild. And here he comes just dancing in his jolly little way to the ring. Big Cousin Frank. Nobody does it better. He's got the cowbell in his head, G-Man. There he goes. The fans absolutely love him. This is a matchup that I particularly really wanted to see because look at the size of these two guys. You've got a lot of weight inside of this ring, man. You have a lot of weight. I hope it's got extra support tonight. <laughs> better have. And these two guys, and I'm going to say it again, we've got brawlers in here. This misery, he's just emotionless. Looking in his eyes, there's nothing there. That's exactly cold, dark. Cold and dark. Oh, oh my that goodness. Matches his gear. Yes. That mask would just throw me off. Well, Cousin Frank, uh, the fans love him so much that they want to run up and touch him and grab him and get pictures and this and that. And one thing that I like about it, he loves his fans. He does. He is very. Look at this. I mean, this guy is. He's just sensational. You just can't say enough about his attitude. He's got the perfect attitude for the fans out here. They just love him. And uh, But now, this opponent that he's going in against tonight, I'm not sure about. This should be interesting. I think I may go to the back and let you just call this one. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you leave me with this monster. Man, this guy's big. Staring because of Frank. Cousin Frank, buddy, I tell you, he's, well, is he going to take this guy as serious as he should? Let's hope <laughs> <That's>, he does. <laughs> he's getting the fans behind him. He's getting that pep behind him. Misery not liking that. He might as well use for that. Monster's a perfect, a perfect word. Perfect. 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 Just like he can give you some misery by his size. Yes, look at those shoulders, how broad. Man, at that height, I tell you, he's intimidating. He is so intimidating. Would not want to meet him in the dark alley. No, not a chance. Cousin Frank. And Cousin Frank always makes light of his matches, but now he can be serious when the going gets tough. He can get tough also. Cousin Frank knows what he's doing. 
Ups and rain. No, Frank goes behind him. Pats him on the butt. And the monster don't like that too much. I think that's the first reaction we got out of him. Okay. He didn't like that at all. He don't want to be made fool of. Cousin Frank. Boy, what a fan favorite. They love him. They love him. Can't say enough about him. And he even gives the referee a little pat. Mass monster misery, buddy. He is he's awesome looking, man. I tell you, this is going to be a matchup. This is really going to be a matchup. Let's hope it doesn't Frank can stay with me. Oh, look at this. He said, look how tall. Can you get up here? Can you reach this? Well, perhaps some way, Cousin Frank studies the situation. Says, hmm, let me think about this. Cousin Frank asking for advice from the fans or some support here. Referee watches on. I would not want to be the referee of this match. No. Between these two competitors especially. Look at this. Oh, my. Look out. The titty twist. And he is twisting them hard and tight. Hard and tight. Both. Mass, well, <laughs> Mass Buster Misery jumped out of the ring on that one. And he says, hey, wait a minute. This ain't part of this. What's going on here? The referee says, back in the ring, my friend. And he told him to count. And here is uh, Cousin Frank in his corner just sitting back laughing at him. That's Cousin Frank. He takes things a little lightly sometimes, but he can also be all business. Look at this. Right now it's time to get down to business. It is. Don't, uh, don't sell this guy short by no means. Okay. He's going to go for the ride here. Cousin Frank, man, he had him straddling those ropes. Tuck him up and down on a whirlwind ride, and now. He needs to get on top of him at this point. Yeah, Frank being just a little slow about, oh, watch out. Mm, that's what I was afraid of. The big monster man here just goes in for that, for that knee to the midsection. Into the turnbuckle. He's so methodical. Yes, you know, a uh, guy the size of misery can just intimidate you so much that it has to play on your match, you know, psychologically. But Frank kept trying to come back here, takes his man. Oh, my. Into that turnbuckle again, head first. Cousin Frank in trouble, G Man. This is some serious from the man. These are just stomping in his chest. One right to work here. He's opened up on Cousin Frank. Oh, caught him. Drove that elbow all the way back to the side of the head. And Cousin Frank, he was addled from that one. Fans are trying to get behind Cousin Frank right now. Get him some motivation. Takes that arm with the wind up. These are not great. Step yeah, that referee, I tell you, he's got his hands full. He's really got his hands full. Frank trying to fire back out of that corner, but to no avail as the big misery just takes over right here. Mass monster misery, look at this guy. He is just pounding away and waiting for that opening, and he got it. That opening got him where he is right now. Yeah. He's he just because of raising his hands and no approval from the crowd, of course, but. Look at here, straddle his man over that middle rope. Applying that pressure. Cousin Frank in trouble. Definitely in trouble. Razor just taking a slow, sweet time. Right across the back with that big forearm. Cousin Frank trying to regroup here. Oh, I call him. I tell you something, I heard that one from here. And Cousin Frank is addled again. Misery now going, is that the claw? He's got that head claw. Look out. That could be a very serious problem. Right oh, my goodness. Frank may be, uh, Cousin Frank may be regretting taking him uh, just a little a little too lightly in there, G-Man. I think because of Frank took him a little lightly. Tonight. Yeah. Cousin Frank, hey, he's not out yet. Yeah, the crowd gets behind Cousin Frank. He's up to his knees, and he goes to the ropes, and the referee now has to call for the break. 
And it's going to be a punch to the sternum and drives his man back to the corner. Cousin Frank working on Misery. Misery reverses it. Throws his man into the corner, head first into that turnbuckle. G-Man, what a battle. Ooh. Oh, did you hear that chop, JR? Man, that rang out across the auditorium. G-Man, we have had a battle here. These two, and I'll tell you, hits weight versus weight, and there it goes. That splash into that corner, and Cousin Frank is in some heap of trouble now. Look right here. I can't believe it. Cousin Frank is still standing at this point. Mm. Cross the ring, and here he goes again. Look at and Frank moves. Cousin Frank was able to move out of the way, G Pad. Better be glad he was able to get out of that. Bass sponsor misery in trouble now. Frank sets in with that fiery right hand. And again, you know, Frank can knock your lights out, I'll tell you that. Headbud. Cousin Frank using what he has and all he all he can do goes in and nobody home there. Frank caught short there. Nobody home. What a boot from mm, Did you see the height of that? For the cover, one, two, and three, and he got him. He got a victory over Cousin Frank tonight right here. Pretty good debut for Misery tonight. What about it? What about that? Never sell a man short. Let me tell you something. Mm. Cousin Frank, he hit hard there. Mass Monster Misery looking over his opponent. The referee saying, get out of here now. You've won the match. But Cousin Frank unexpectedly hit that turnbuckle with full force. His own weight in there. And then the big high boot. Oh, man. That was just... Mm. That was too much for him. How did he get that boot that high? This guy... He's a crippler, isn't he? He's a crippler. He really is.
What's the name of your little group? New Air. Ben Sheeran. ZDP. ZDP. That's hard to say. Here we go. And this is ZDP. Part of the new era here. G-Man, this is going to be interesting. Look right here. He's got that neck brace on saying that he can't wrestle with this man can. And we're going to find out. Do you think this is legitimate, G-Man? Personally, I don't think it's legitimate at all. I mean, we all know he's a con artist. Well, the fans seem to think that he's a con, a cheat, pulling off all kinds of shenanigans. Oh, you got that right, shenanigans. Ben Sheridan in uh, his uh, entourage, New Era. CDP's a little bit mouthy. Yes, he is. Very mouthy to the crowd. And we're going to see something here because these two have battled all over Kentucky. They've battled everywhere. And uh, this uh, this uh, accusation and, and so forth with the neck and this and that with the doctors and stuff, uh, somewhere down the line, the, the smoke has to clear on this, G-Man. Will that be tonight? Okay, here he is now. The big fan favorite of AMW, Mr. Marty Clay. He's had a few choice words for Gunner in the past. Yes, he has. What a match. Don't know a lot about his opponent tonight. Of course, with the change, we're going to see what happens. Well, we'll just have to see. Because we saw either of those we want to see the American flag prevail, of course. Marty Clay representing that and the AMW people right here tonight. Gunner says he's going to make Britain great again tonight. Marty's ready Yet to, to be seen. Yes, indeed. Yet to be seen. Here we go. He's got to remember, JR, Marty's outnumbered in this match. He is he outnumbered. He is outnumbered. But Marty's out here facing it alone, G-Man. He's up to the task. Ben, oh, look at here. Well, yeah, they need to, man, they need to get away from the fans. If I could give them good advice, that's what I would say. That's exactly what I would say, too. Marty Clay patiently awaits. He's waiting on the shenanigans to stop on the outside. ZDP is never throw off the words. True. ZDP, uh, kindly close to uh, to Marty's size. Uh, not a big difference here. Well, they match up pretty good. Difference mainly in physique. You can see that uh, Marty hits that gym. He, man, this guy, he's a phenomenal athlete. He's just great. So we're going to see tonight. Exactly what it, the fans, look at this. He has the fans roaring here, his ZDP and 
Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. Marty Clay, whoa, he went straight for that flag. Look at this. Flag match right here. Appalachia Mount Dressler, G-Man himself with JR bringing you the action. And what a matchup, G-Man. ZDP hits for the outside. I don't think he wants any part of Marty Clay at this point in time. Truth. Truth be told. Look at Marty Clay in the third flag. Let's go to run a timeout for you. Always talking smack to somebody. Well, Gunner and me and their instigators. Gunner still calling for his timeout. Look at this. He missed. Beautiful arm drag. And another arm drag. It's Marty Clay. Beautiful hip toss. Followed his man through with that one. Marty is taking it to him. Tonight. Marty is full of fire, G-Man. ZDP underestimating his man. He's on the outside of the ring complaining with a headache at this time. But it's going to be Marty Clay looking over those ropes saying, come on in and get some more. And he'll give them all they want. And Marty Clay. Trying to get Gunner to come in and get a piece of it. Yeah, if you'll notice, Gunner will grab the neck on occasion. But he seems to have full body motion. Yes, body motion full. Full neck motion when he's moving around and running around out there. Yeah, he's he's not fooling the fans. He's not fooling anyone. Yeah, is that one of those dime school neck braces? Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, you said it best right there. Look out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He caught. He caught his man. He caught his own man on the outside of the ring here. And that's hilarious. Really hilarious here. I'll tell you that. Marty Clay, full scoop slam, and uh, ZDP exit the ring. Oh, it looks like he his head against the reel. So sorry for him. Yeah, again. And here goes Gunner again, calling for another yeah. timeout. Gunner trying to hold that neck there again. Oh, my goodness. Poor baby's only thing I can tell him because Marty Clay's not buying that crap. Marty was a piece of each of them. That's exactly right, fans. Look how good Gunner's moving. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, Marty Clay coming outside to take care of business. Takes his man. And Marty Clay. Marty Clay is going to show these guys who is boss. And he's going to pull that flag. I've got great confidence in him. Head first into that turnbuckle. Into that steel post, rather. He is down on the outside. Marty Clay taking charge. Dodge it is to get that flag, though. That's exactly right. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, I don't trust those two guys. Look at this. On the outside. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. ZDP. Well, there you go. Just a little extraction. Here goes another Distraction. factor into this. And then the next thing you go, boom, boom, he's down. That's exactly what these guys are up to right here. Take away from the inside to the outside. Exactly. Distract what's going on inside and do the mm, deeds outside. See that? Right to the midsection. Picks his man up. Drops him on the edge of that apron. Man. Right on the edge of that ring right there. That Marty took a dick and hit there. That's going to affect him for a few minutes. Did you see the hatred look? Ooh, my goodness. He's in the flat, Z on top of his man. Look at this. Firing in, firing in. Look at this. He is just firing away on Marty Clay. Marty Clay finds his man, finds his way to the rope. Look over here. Now Ben's getting involved here. Look at this. Mmm. There's nothing to be done tonight. No, absolutely. He's in here. It's one against three, no matter how you look no at it, G-Man. Can Marty Clay? do anything here we'll find out he's in the rope and look at Ben and he takes his cheap shots from the outside just stretches his arms back Gunner over there on the other side of the ring distracting the referee look at this look at this pulling his man pulling his man's neck up into that rope to choke him to strangle him out trying to cause him to lose his breath I would like to see Dolphins just finish the game yeah, look at this. Head first into that turnbuckle. G-Man, mm, Marty is in some bad trouble right now. He's going to have to get on and grab that flag. 
the ZDP is just taking his toll on them. This is, this is what it's all come down to. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Right back flip off the, off that turbo. Caught him with a drop kick. Picks himself up, and now he's ready to go. What's he going to do? All the way across the corner, and look out. Caught him with that flying elbow in there. Here comes the big tomahawk shot. Mm. You heard that? I heard that. <laughs> I thought you did. I did. <laughs> he's caught him. He caught him hard. Look out. And again. Looks like Gunner's getting a little bit upset right now. It's not going his way. Oh, my. Well, this guy's a little brawler, isn't he? He is a little brawler. I'm telling you. He is, on, he is in here on a mission. You can tell that he is prompted by the guys on the outside to go in there and win this match, get that flag. And he's going to stop by no means. No. Marty Clay, one against three. I mean, this is a crazy, crazy setup right here. But this is what we've got to work with, and Mar Marty Clay's in trouble. So, I don't know. You're talking about uneven odds. Could they get any worse? No. They couldn't get any worse. They do give you the face odds, and I agree with that. Point. Yeah. Takes his bed. Cross. Nope. Reversal. Hmm. But he caught him right across the throat there. Marty Clay's still in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Mostly outside. Has no trouble at all clapping his hands and moving around. And CDP to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, Marty Clay. He's giving Marty way too much time. Marty will get him on this. Look out. Oh, he caught his bed. He caught him. You're right, G. Marty Clay has caught his opponent. Got him in the air. Let's see what he does. He's in Marty Clay's hands now. Look out. Slice, Slice bread. of bread. There it was. Now, let's get the American flag, Marty. Come on. He's got to get that flag. Here we go. He's got to get that flag. He's got to get it, G-Bad. Tom Marty. That's coming next. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Neck breaker and a half. Gunner talking to the camera, telling him how great Britain is. Yes, he is. He's giving Marty way to, oh, look at him. A little new air on the signal, is that what it is? Uh, yes, new air. He put it out there to him, didn't he? Yeah. Put it right out there. Now look out. Look out. Climbing up, climbing up. Here we go. What's he doing now? He's going to get that fly. But watch get out. Here is over. Yeah, it's going to be Marty Clay coming in behind him. Oh. Boot to the side of the face. Sends his bang crashing back down to the mat. Shot to the midsection, and another, and another. It's going to be Clay coming back again. And a form to the side of the face. Watch out to the eyes. Just with anything less. Hmm. Brother, well, we've got some action galore right here, fans. Look out. Drops down. Oh, my goodness. Show dog and misses. So Marty Clay, he has a chance. He's got to get to the flag. Get the flag. Steps aside. Takes his man down with shoulder smash. Forearm. Back up, up and over. Picks his man up. Suplex in the center of the ring. In the center of the ring. But look at here. He's up. Goes for the slam. Marty Clay. Well, mm, I think he might have been. Might have been just a little off there, but he still called his bed. He hit hard, both men on the mat. Referee towing the count. Let's see what happens here, G. What is Gunner over there doing? 
we go. Going to be Clay going to the corner. Going to the corner. Okay, I see Ben. Uh, well, the referee being distracted. What's this? What in the world? Look at here. Gunner, there's nothing wrong with this guy. Look what he's doing here, G. Cheaters, cheaters. Takes the flag, throws in another flag inside of the ring, and the referee sees it and says it's retrieved, and he's calling for the bell, G-Man. Rob, sheer Rob. Absolutely the most corrupt. Look at this. And Gunner in celebration. Marty Clay, he can't figure this thing out. Of course not. His back's turned. What's happened to this neck break? Yeah, look at this. Oh, look All at them. A scam, a setup from the beginning. Nothing but a setup, and they jump, they bunny hop in celebration. Marty Clay is furious, and he catches Gunner, and Gunner now, hold on. Nothing to explain as Ben comes right across the back with that flagpole. So now it's going to be, it's going to be. Marty Clay being beat up on. Fans, we've got to get some kind of reordered, restored here. we got to get him out of this ring. We guys. have to, G-Man. Marty Clay being triple teamed, Somebody if you would. Marty Clay, look at this. I cannot believe it as they proudly, proudly grab the, the Great Britain flag. At, this is just too much, G-Man. This is way too much. You're too much. I just cannot believe this. It's, it's, I can't believe Look it. at this, Marty Clay being beat Bunch up on. Get out here now. Well, this new era, Bunch, they're, I'm going to tell you something. They're so diabolical. We've got to get somebody out here. I don't know who's left back there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, the ultimate insult, the flag around his Look at this. Look flag. at this. Totally uncalled Sydney. for. Yeah, that neck's supposed to be down. There's nothing wrong with Gunner's neck. Nothing wrong with him. Now, Man, I tell you, look at Ben now. Look at him. Just look at him. Sickening. They're pathetic. What a pathetic display. Pathetic oh, gonna, display. Uh, My the goodness. Insult, the flag on Marty well, they've not heard the last of Marty Clay. I guarantee you that. No, this is not over with by no means. I will promise you. I will promise you. Fans. <laughs> My goodness. I just wish we'd go back to Britain. Yes, negative. Negative display of power. Hey, here we go. It's Big Rig Jake, and here he is for the $5,000 Body Slam Challenge, G-Man. Someone could win $5,000, but they have to body slam this mountain of a man. And he is a giant. And that's the only way you can win this match is actually pick him up and body slam. What about that now for $5,000 cash? He has an opponent that... Uh, We've not seen before. Oh, carnivore. Never a carnivore, yes. Yeah. Big Jake going through the crowd here. Always a fan favorite. Big Jake, Jake break. Shaking hands with the kids and all the fans out here. They love this man. They love him. He is a giant. He is a he true is. giant. Look at this now. Steps up on the ring. You know, I've seen him in action quite a bit here, AMW. And, oh, I would hate to be under him and try to slam him and fail. Look at this. Just steps right over that rope. Like it was nothing. <laughs> no problem. He dwarfs the referee. A lot of things going on here. A lot of things behind the scenes of AMW. A lot of things, G-Man. I can't wait for this one to get started. Here he comes. Look at this. Oh, he is. 
Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes, G Man. Did he come out of Mortal Kombat the movie? My goodness. The carnivore. Look at him. Oh, right up in the camera. This man is something to behold, right? Here. Yes, he is. Very Ooh, intimidating. Oh, my. I wonder what Jake Rake's, uh, Big Rick Jake's thinking right now. I don't think Big Rick Jake Rake is too much word about on the board. Well, there's one thing about it. It's size and it's size because both men are, are pretty big. Pretty good size, dude. So, Still, Big Jake Rake is standing there on the top of this. Going to be a contest, isn't it? Yes, it's going to be a contest. Personally, I can't see anybody body slamming. But for five thousand dollars, we to give it a try. Oh, absolutely! That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of money. Yeah, we saw the security guards bringing the money. In. Big Jake. Big Jake just basically saying, "Bring it on!" Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Look what a wingspan here. <laughs> right now. Come on. Yeah. Try to get it on here. Yeah. Never worked out yet. Did not go too well. But I've got news. Look at here. You take someone, you weaken them down, get them weak and weary, and um, get that adrenaline pumped up in yourself, and then maybe you come up with that strength. But it's going to be... It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. Yeah, yeah. It's Only shot that you've got a big rejake break is those legs. That's exactly right. He's going to try it again. He's pumping himself up. Carnivore going back again. Big Jake break just laughing. He can't yeah. do this. Yeah, he says, okay, what else you got? Look at here. Pat him on the <laughs> head. Yeah. Yeah, from behind. Yeah, yeah man. Low, low blow. A low yes. blow from behind. Called him hard. hard. Now he's taking them, working on the Those Sabak kicks. Fist to the side of the head. He has taken over on Jake Brake, G Ben. But he has to pick him up and slam him to win. Shots to the midsection, one to the side of the face. The carnivore. Look out, here he comes and catches. Catches that number 24 boot right to the side of the face. I'm just impressed that he's still standing after that. Wow. Jake Brake slamming his man down. A one-arm slam. What about that? But Jake is hurt. Jake in the middle of the ring now saying, hey, get him in here, ref. Get him back in the ring, or maybe I will. And look at this. Trying to catapult him off that top rope to no avail. It's going to be Jake. Caught by the leg there. Ooh, down he goes to the mat. Carnivore trying to find that weakness. That Achilles heel, if you would, and he is working away. I think he's found it. Working away. On Big Jake. Look out. Oh, my goodness. Right to the face. Jake, and again to the face. Wow, how much more can he take? Jake in trouble now. Oh, but he catches him. Went to the well one too many times. Going to be Jake with that midsection shot. And look out, the carnivore now in trouble. Ooh, man. Massive close line. Wow, he just... Flipped him somersault over in the air and down to the bat. The carnivore goes. Jake trying to retaliate here. He's trying to catch that breath. Takes his man and splashes him in that corner. What a splash. One more time. Uh-oh, watch out. Big Jake is on the move. And here he comes. Oh, nobody home. The carnivore. Look out. Still working on that leg, G-Man. Only chance he's got. He's Only chance. He's trying to take that leg out probably permanently. And again, right on that kneecap that time. Look out. Takes his man out of that corner. Oh, 
Okay, Jake's had enough. Look out, the big power slam right in the center of the ring. Big Jake with that power slam. Look out, goes for the wind up two. And it looks like he got him. He got him. Big Jake coming out with a win. The referee calling for the bell. The carnivore is hurt. He rolls to the outside. What a matchup. As Big Jake, Big Rick Jake break coming out victorious. And the $5,000 challenge wasn't answered. No. It will be answered in the future. Oh, this, JR? look at this. Look out. We have somebody else on the scene here. Now, now look what's going on. Referees are coming. Okay. Misery's coming out to yes, he's coming out. He is, hey, he is saying, let me have my way in here. Big Jake Brake's not stopping him, though. He's telling him to come on in. He says, come he on in. Up. Come on in. Both these guys are monsters. They are monsters. They are monsters. I want to see this matchup myself, g I wish you'd get in the ring. Let's get it on. Let's get it on now, guys. Look at this. May 13th, West Perry Elementary School. Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, you and Kyle Magri have stirred a nest in which you are not prepared to deal with the ramifications of your actions. As Zodiac and I come to your little hole in the wall, Kyle Maggard, you will be found wanting and it doesn't matter who's in your corner at the end of the night. Hi. Alrighty, wrestling fans. Gee, man, this match of particular interest with me. Just yesterday, the Zodiac attacking Kyle Maggard at a school function, at a school assembly, and he said, hey, you go get you a partner, and I'll get me one. We'll square it off. Now, Kyle Maggard, <laughs> half of the tag team champions, his partner, unavailable to be here, of course. So who's it going to be? Who's going to be Kyle Maggard's tag team partner We're tonight? We'll see here soon. But remember, the Zodiac has been taunting Kyle for weeks. He's yes, he has. He's dying to get a piece of him. That's exactly right. He's been dying to get a piece of him. Yes, so he Kyle, has. He gets his chance tonight. Yes. His tag team partner, by the way, is Chance Profit. Chance Profit. Well, this tag team, these two, <laughs> hey, oh, they're, they're an old machine. You can see they're an old machine. I, I'm interested in this match. I'm, I want to see who his tag team partner is going to be. I've been anticipating this match for weeks now. Uh, who's he bringing in? I mean, <laughs> wow, this is going to be something else right here. I'm sure whoever Kyle's bringing in, they're going to be great.
Goodness. Who is coming out? Look at this. It's none other than John Noble. The last time these two were together, they were fighting all over Dilts Cone's gym. Truth. Truth be spoke. But look now. They're going to be partners tonight. Unbelievable G Man. Brothers does have spats. Yes. But they always go forward. They and get over that and go forward. For a better partner. But he's got someone in his corner now that's going to be a solid partner. They have traveled a lot of roads together, fought a lot of battles. They have, and he's here tonight. John Noble and Kyle Maggard. Back together again. And listen to the fans' reaction to this duo right here. make his rounds, greet everyone. It's been a while since he's been with AMW. Yes, yes, but look at him. The fans love him. The fans love him. And Kyle Maggard as well. This match is going to be a barn burner, G-Man. The fans are going wild. What a combination, though. Think about it. Couldn't ask for a better combination. No, you couldn't. The high fives and we're ready to go here. The referee, I think he's astonished. I think he is well, as everyone in this building was. I just can't wait to get this underway. Well, look at here. I mean, these guys are, hey, they're, they're fired up. They're ready. And uh, here we go. Did they bite off more than they could chew in Kyle Maggard and John Noble? You say they have the dynamic duo tonight. That's not yes. Really easy at all. They're going to have to have, to have an A game on. That's just no doubt about it. Yes. Because Kyle and John's going to have their A game on. Yes. And this is Odiac. I, I'll tell you something. I don't trust these guys. They'll do anything for a win. They will do anything. And, uh, and attacking Kyle Maggard. We definitely had our freaks at the show tonight, that's for sure. We really have. We really have. Kyle and John just so calm. Right in the, get it on. Not much, little trash talking going on, not too much. Right now, After right that, that attack, he is, I'm sure there's fury in his eyes. Yes. Oh, look at here. It's going to be a, how are they going to decide who's going in here? What are they going to do? Rock, paper, scissors looks like. Oh, the old classic. The old classic. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors is coming up. Let's see what happens. Oh, my. Looks like it's going to be Kyle. Okay, it's match, going to be Kyle. And I guess his chance, Patch Profit's going to be starting off on the other side. Kyle gives the referee a little pat. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. He's Chance Profit's one weird individual. Yes, he is. Not phasing Kyle a bit. He's trying to be intimidating. But Kyle Maggard, he just kind of laughing the guy off a little, you know. He's, well, can you blame him? I mean, look at this guy. He's... Now into it with the crowd. Maggard sneaking up on him. Turned around just in time. John Noble on the outside. Kyle Maggard start for his team, and here we go. Maggard again. Trying to sneak up on his man. Just intimidating factors. Just a little bit, not too much. This chance profit. I don't think he wants to lock up with Kyle. He wants to talk to the crowd more than he does lock up with them. Oh, 
I don't think I've ever saw Kyle just kind of blow people off like he has this time. Well, I want to tell you, don't sell them short again. I say don't sell someone short beforehand. You never know what's in the back of their minds, not just with wrestling ability, but illegal tactics. You know where I'm coming from on Three that. Kyle's and John's home turf. That's exactly right. So that hometown advantage has to mean a whole lot. And look at them. It's a stir off, but Kyle Maggard. Oh, look at this. A little mockery, if you would. Yeah. Kyle yeah. Was, Kyle's getting right back to him a little yes, bit. Yes, he is. Yes. I think that was called the crane from Karate Kid. Yes. Performed it quite well. Quite well. Uh, Chase probably has got to have a little love from Zodiac. A little, a little companionship there from his partner that uh, encourages him on against Kyle Maggard. I don't think that's going to help the situation when Kyle Maggard actually gets his hands on him here. A lot, a lot of trouble between these two. Watch out. Look at here. Maggard fires him in, and, man, he just knocked his head off. That was a bad move. You don't want to go fist the cousin, Kyle. No, sir. Kyle Maggard, man, he's got those large fists anyway. I mean, they're humongous, and when he sets those things inside of your head, <laughs> you know you've been punched. That's exactly right. He's still not over that one. Look at there. He's just uh, trying to shake it off best he can. Kyle Maggard conversing with John Noble on the outside, saying, I've got this boy. You don't worry. Look at this. I think he might have stuck his fist a little. Oh, shot to the midsection. Caught him quiet. Got him by the nose. Look out. You don't do Kyle Maggard this way. The duck to go under, and boom, catches his man. And again, and I'll tell you something. Kyle Maggard, he is on fire. Oh, he gives him a little pad as well. Goes to his corner for comfort. Say good luck, champ. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I would be rubbing someone's butt. No. I, <laughs> Kyle Maggard on the inside. He says, hey, what are you guys doing on the outside over there? That's what I want. Now then, the fans... Coming alive in this match, well, I'll tell you something. They are fired up. They're ready. They want to see Kyle Maggard get some vengeance here. Hey, you can't blame him. After that attack at the school assembly. Yes, that was just uncalled for. Yeah. He said, you get you a partner, I'll get me one, and this is where we're at tonight because of that statement. We've got the match right here, Supercard Series, AMW, the G-Man himself, and JR bringing you the action. What a night we've had. Tonight. What a night, G-Man. And now action packed. it just keeps getting better. You've got John Noble, Kyle Magger together on the same side of the ring against this team. There's excitement in the atmosphere. Yes, the there atmosphere is. In Hazard, Kentucky. Hazard, Kentucky oh, on fire. Tagging in, John. Been a while since we saw John, so let's see. Zodiac comes in now. Point to Kyle wants him in the ring. Okay. Wow, the, well, these guys are massive, aren't they? They're massive. They are massive individuals. Look right here, John Noble. John Noble spends a lot of time in the gym working out. He is a phenomenal athlete as well. He has traveled. He has been here, there, and everywhere in between. And let me tell you something. His experience shows in the ring. Just think about the experience between these two individuals right here, how much time they've got. Yeah, travel time. and all. I mean, it's just its unreal. These guys, they're hard workers. And let me tell you something. They are go-getters. John getting the crowd wound up. Notice John's got a lot of people at what much wrestling. Oh, yes. Yes. Representing the company well, let me look right here. Take this man back into that corner. The referee towing the count. And John Noble, what about that? Clean break out clean of the break. corner. Zodiac says he did not clean break. He grabbed the mask. Though. Well, John Noble, naturally, he's going to be uh, claiming this and that, that, you know, something wasn't fair or illegal on that break and for no other reason to distract his opponent or the referee. Of course. Zodiac 
Just hands it. Lock it up to John again. Tie up in the ring. Center of the ring. Watch out into the corner he goes. Yeah, it's going to be Noble. Pulling his man back. Another clean break, but watch out. Oh, he thought he was going to get a, a short uh, jab in on Noble, but he blocked and retaliated with one of his own. Sends his man down to the mat. Now he's pointing and poking John Noble in the chest. That ain't going to work, is it? That's but not going to work out too good for him. Noble will listen to reason, but this is not reason. This is not reason. So I look for Noble to do this right here. Yeah, there he goes. And he's going to do some poking and pointing all the way back into the corner. That serves him right. Tom Haggard on the outside, waiting to tag. I figure Kyle will already be in your cleaning now, so I'm shocked he stood out that way. Arm drag and twist. He's got his man in the center of the ring and working on that arm, and it's going to be a reversal. A noble takes the man down. Check this out. Beautiful maneuver, goes for the legs, ties the man up, and here we've got a break. The referee calling for the break. The only way he could go there was to the ropes. Noble gave him a swift little pat there. Just telling him good luck. Yeah. Okay. John Noble. And the fan support behind him. The fans chanting. Kyle Maggard the outside. Type again, center of the ring, goes in. Forearm dragon twist again, takes his man. Noble kicking out the opponent, gets him back in. Look right here, it's going to be Kyle Maggard coming in. And Noble, he gave some, uh, he gave a little sim with that uh, false tag there. Did you notice that? He got away with one. Yes, he smacked his hand, and uh, the referee said, okay, I heard the tag. But in reality, there was no tag. So I guess fair play and fair play goes hand in hand. And it's going to be Maggard off the ropes, catches his man. Giving him a good old spanking right here. Maggard. Guess taking his years. opponent. Oh, look right here. Oh, man. On the outside of the ring. It's going to be what he has. Chance Profit going back out to get the Zodet. Get him back into the ring. Well, that's talking back in, looks like. Well, he's trying to be the spokesman of the team right here. Uh, Trying to coach him into going back in there. I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to stand toe to toe with Kyle Maggard in there like that. Especially you're just not all that you talk, doing what he does. You're not going to go fist to cuff no. with Kyle Maggard. There's no way. The school seemed to and you attack him. Yeah. He's not going to forget that that easy. That's exactly right. And okay. Here he goes. Steps through the rope. Kyle Maggard. He's leery. Maggard. He knows something's up. Zodet just needs to get there and let's get it going. And Chance Prophet looks like one of these calling out John. Run that He's mouth. Been man. a lot of talking. And no action with him. That's for sure. I think they're kind of cowardly myself. Zodet gets that strap and sits it for some reason. Mmm, Kyle Maggard. I hear yourself Kyle being his patient. Well, he's leery. He knows these two. A smart man. They have to be up to no good when they're conversing together on the outside. They're plotting and planning. Always plotting and planning. Always. Still, that up. Zodan wants to talk to everybody. He's, uh, he's very, very. I, I don't know, Jill. He just don't want to get in the ring. He don't want to walk up. He's Chance Prophet. I don't know what he's on this evening. 
Wow, he is on a rampage. Look at this. He is on a rampage, is he not? He does. Oh, look at here. Well, Magger catches it, grabs him in that side headlock, G-Man. He took advantage of the opportunity there, did he not? He's got a ring veteran on Kyle. That's exactly right. Beautiful shoulder smash, and he just charged right into his man, into the rope and back over. It's going to be Magger with a reverse hip toss. Puts his man down to the bat. Full scoop and slam. Did you see how easy? Wow. Down with the big splash. He's got to cover one. About a one and a half count. Kyle Maggard, I tell you, he was on fire there with that splash. When he caught him coming off those ropes, man, that was a lot of momentum right there. Tell Chance Crawford something. Trying to reach over and through the ropes, wanting to step through, but the referee says no, which in turn gives a noble a chance to come in on a false tag. Wow, the fans love it. The fans love it. John Noble and Kyle Maggard, what a team. Definitely not disappointing the crowd tonight, no, are they? Never a crowd disappointing with these two. Look at here. Oh. He's got him in that corner. Goes in. Short jab. Oh, uppercut. Taking his man's eyes right across those ropes. That's got to burn. Shot to the midsection. Tags in. Boot to the midsection. Look at this. Maggard coming in. The referee says out of the ring. Meanwhile, Noble. Mm. She shot from Zodiac to Noble. Yes. Right back of the head. Right from the outside. Now look right here. It's a closed fist, and he is just totally waylaying out Mr. John Noble. He is in such trouble. Front face lock. Veterans dive and reverse into that corner. In he comes, looks out. Mm, double axe handle, that had to hurt. John Desby needs a tag. Headbutt. Body Look at this. Fingers. Oh my goodness, a referee saying get off the fingers. Yeah, they're gonna do whatever it takes here. John Noble in all right now. He cannot believe uppercut, you see that one? Yes. From the outside. They have finally maneuvered and manipulated this thing around as to where the match is in their favor as of now because of their illegal tactics in and out of the ring. It looks to me like that's all they have going for them, illegal tactics. That's exactly right so far. Oh, caught him right there, right under the chin there. And Noble is in a world of hurt, a lot of pain right now. Maggard concerned on the other side of the ring. Snap mirror. John's looking at Kyle, trying to get the tag. But this chest profit's not letting up on him. Profit for the cover. I knew that would be good enough. It'll take more than that for these two. The alarm drag and twist formed by Noble. I mean, he's retaliating. He's tried his best to come back here. He knows that he's got to get to that corner and get that tag. Put a fresh man in, and it's going to be Maggard again. But mm, unfortunately, when Maggard steps through the ropes, they double team. Double elbow sends his man down. He's asking for a cover. Look right here, the referee. Look at him choking John. Well, that was very plain to see. One, but that's not going to hold Noble down. I got news for you. John Noble. Taking a beating right now, but man. Ty's what a matchup. The tag over there. He desperately needs to get that tag. Kyle Maggard on the outside reaching over. Just can't seem to get it. It's John Noble being beat upon. Look here. Mm, right in the eyes. Referee. I'm surprised they've not been disqualified. That's, I can't either. They should have been disqualified long ago. John Noble trying to make a comeback here. Shot to the midsection and another. It's going to be Noble across the chest. Into the rope, back off. Elbow. 
One, two, two count G-man. Noble is a fighter. He's not going to lay down that easy. Noble being double teamed. Kyle Maggard reaching for that tag. Still no tag. Man, he desperately needs to make that tag to Kyle so Kyle can come in and maybe turn this match around. Kyle's ready to turn this match around. You can see the fire in his eyes right now. Going to be Noble. Shot to the midsection and again and again. Catapults himself into the rope, but a knee doubles him over. And now, look out. Well, mm, the tag. This is only a chance prop to do work well together. I have to say that. Look at that. Mm, man, he caught him hard there. Just took that arm, threw it back. Yeah, they work, they work great together as a diabolical cheating team, yes. don't they? Oh, Maggard. The fans kind of trying to get behind John Noble now. Sounds like a cage line. He's yes, he is. Get in there. Noble feeling a lot of pain. Magger reaching over the ropes, trying to encourage his partner. What a matchup this has been. Magger with the cheer on. The fans. Look right here. It's going to be John Noble. Well, I think he's got him in a position here to where if he goes into a corner, it's going to be their corner, the back corner, where he don't want to be. And that way they can double team. He's manipulating him as to where he can turn him that way and keep him over there away from Maggard. Yes, they're trying to keep him isolated from Kyle. Going to be Noble trying to step it out. He's trying to step it out. Let's see what happens. He's close, and oh, my goodness, and outside interference again, and the tag, even though the tag was made, the referee not seeing that, and now Kyle Maggard is being ordered out of the ring. Kyle Maggard trying to plead and tell the referee he made the tag. Meanwhile, John Noble taking a beating in the corner, G-Man. Pandemonium has broke out now. Yes, we're staying right on John Noble. John has got to get that tag soon. Going to be Noble across the way. Opposite corner, here he comes and misses. Look out. John Noble, wow. Double clothesline. Sends both men down. He needs to get that tag, G-Man. He needs to get He's to that to corner. Get over there, tag. He's got to get over there. It's Kyle Maggard wanting that tag. Referee towing the count. My goodness. Get to that corner, John. Kyle Maggard, the fans all behind him, through the legs, and he makes a tag. Here he makes a tag. And it's going to be Kyle Maggard taking care of business now. Whips his man into the rope. Serious elbow to the side of the face. And again, look here. Both men down. Kyle Maggard taking control. Picks his man up and slams him. Man, for the cover, one, one, two, but no, sir. Only because Chance Profit intervened. That's only, only because Chance Profit intervened. Noble down. Oh, my. Out of the ring goes Noble. It's going to be Maggard on the inside. What's Zodiac doing? Well, look at here. Oh, my goodness, a chair. He has a chair. Look out, Kyle Maggard's going to be in a world of trouble now. He's got that metal chair, G-Man. Look Noble. out. Look out, here comes Noble in here. Get down, here he goes. Kyle He's got chair. that chair. Watch out, Kyle. No. Oh, he <laughs> catapults that chair from the rope to his own head. Kyle now with that drop, and he just cracked his neck. Look at here, one. Two and three. And We've got Kyle winners. We have winners in Kyle Maggard and John Noble. What a matchup. What a way to return. What a way to go as John Noble and Kyle Maggard comes out victorious. Fans love it. They're going wild. Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Thank you folks for being with us. We'll see you next week.